We have some more NHL signings to discuss, including the remaining restricted free agents who are going through the salary arbitration process. All cases are settled. We'll discuss how they came out coming up next. Welcome back here to Top Shelf Hockey. As I mentioned, we have some more breaking news from around the NHL. All of their salary arbitration cases for restricted free agents around the NHL are now completed and all awards have been handed out. Uh, we had three left that were waiting contracts who went through their hearings on August the 4th and all three of them had their announcements made today of what they were given through the arbitration process. Now let's first get started here with Carolina Hurricanes goaltender Anton Forsberg. Of course he was acquired earlier this offseason from the Chicago Blackhawks in that Calvin DeHaan trade. He was awarded a one-year, one-way contract at 775000 Now, based on the goaltending depth for the Hurricanes, he more than likely is not going to be playing in the NHL, so he will require waivers to go down to the American Hockey League affiliate to play for the Charlotte Checkers. Um, so not quite clear exactly how that's going to work. There's obviously some teams around the NHL that are probably still kind of analyzing their goaltending, depending on how things go through training camp. They very well could be at risk to lose him uh, through waivers. Well, hard to say exactly, but he will require waivers to go to the American Hockey League since he was given a one-way contract. This will make him an unrestricted free agent after this coming season. And so obviously his time as an RFA will come to an end and he'll be a UFA next year. So we'll see how things work out between him and the Hurricanes if he remains there for the year. Rocco Grimaldi of the Nashville Predators was awarded a one-year, $1 million contract. Grimaldi played 53 games last year for the Predators, put up 13 points, uh, went on to play with them in the playoffs as well, and put up three goals. He certainly worked his way into being a fixture in that lineup and has become an important bottom six player for the Predators. So obviously this contract is a one-year deal, $1 million. He also will be an unrestricted free agent at the end of the term as well. St. Louis Blues defenseman Joel Edmondson was awarded a one-year contract at 3.1 million dollars now last year joel edmondson didn't have the greatest season he missed time during the regular season and then during the playoffs he did appear in 22 games but as we got to the stanley cup finals as the games were most meaningful he ended up being a healthy scratch on a couple of occasions i'm a little bit surprised he was given quite so much Elliot friedman had reported that edmondson was looking for over four million dollars while the team was about half of that in the two two and a half range so obviously they had a big gap there to bridge uh, the and the arbitrator kind of went somewhere close down the middle here gave him 3.1 so it still seems like a little bit high to me for Edmondson and he also like the other two will also be an unrestricted free agent after the coming season I'm not sure that he's going to be remaining with the Blues too long term you can see him being considered trade bait for the Blues should they decide to make upgrades on any other part of their team now all in total here we had 41 players go through the salary arbitration process 33 out of 41 ended up settling their contracts and coming to terms on their own before the hearings ever took place so 33 of those hearings were cancelled two more actually went through the process but came to an agreement on a contract before the arbitration made their ruling and then we had six players that would be awarded their contract through this process by the arbitrator so six out of 41 is not too bad as we discussed earlier in the offseason season when this process was first beginning uh, the past few years the statistics have run about one out of every five or six uh, players who go through the arbitration process ended up getting their contract awarded to them through the arbitrator and many others end up settling well ahead of time so now the other key stat that i mentioned as well is a very high percentage of these players who go through the process and end up being awarded their contract after their hearing do not end up staying with the team all that long like almost three quarters of those players in the last 10 years were no longer with that existing club that they went through that with uh, by the second or third season afterwards so it'd be interesting to see if that trend continues and if any of these players who went through the process uh, stick it out or actually end up signing like a longer term deal here in the future with their current teams so let me know what your thoughts are on these contracts here down below. So the arbitration process is completely done now. Of course, the UFA and other RFA deals have kind of come to a standstill. We haven't had a whole lot of news in that regard. I think a lot of the other RFAs who don't have arbitration rights, and there's plenty of them, plenty of big names. you got Mitch Barner, Mika Rantanen, Brock Besser, Zach Wierenski, Charlie McAvoy, Brandon Carlo, Colin White. I mean, the list goes on. The guys of Winnipeg, Patrick Laine, Kyle Connor. We haven't really had any news uh, in all these guys in quite some time. It's certainly going to be debatable when the dominoes start to fall. And there's still some key UFAs out there as well, like Jake Gardner, Patrick Maroon, etc., that are still remaining unsigned here as well. So it'll be interesting to see where all these players end up and what kind of deals they get. 
So there should be plenty more news. It's just really debatable on when it's going to come. So stay tuned to Top Shelf Hockey. I'll keep you all up to date with all the breaking news when it happens around the NHL. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing and turning on your notifications so you don't miss any future content. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it as well. I'd appreciate it if you did. As always, thank you for watching, and I will catch you next time. <laughs>